I just think leadership largely, it is about tone, it is, it's substance too, but it's about tone, it's about example, it's about, um, I think, bringing the right uh, temperament to uh, the work that we do around here and, um, and, and setting a good example for the American people about what leaders can uh, and should do and what they ought to be about. And part of that, again, is what you do, but a lot of it is how you do it. Well, how do you think the leadership election is shaping up? Where do you see kind of your position in it? Mm -hmm. Well, I look at this as a multi-cycle, multi-election investment. Um, because the next couple of cycles aren't great for Republicans and you want to get a majority that's durable. I think the Senate is the ultimate um, sort of quintessential check and balance in our government and, uh, and we need that as an insurance policy. Hopefully we win them all, the White House, the House and the Senate, but in the event that we don't, we need the Senate as that sort of bulwark that would prevent um, what we think are a lot of bad things from happening. Obviously depending on how the November election turns out, that could be working with potentially President Trump. Um, you, we've discussed you, you've met with him. Can you tell me a little bit about just how that came about, how that happened, and, and what you think came out of that meeting? So we were down at, uh, at Mar-a-Lago and had a very, I thought, constructive, productive conversation for a good length of time um, where we talked about if he was successful and if I was successful. Uh, and, and, you know, hopefully in leading a Republican majority, how we could work together to get some things done. For Trump as a potential candidate and potentially as president, are you confident now that he would follow democratic norms like the peaceful transfer of power? I think with respect to democratic norms, my expectation is that he's going to be, yeah, he's going to follow them. Um, he's going to do things clearly his own way and stylistically. It might not be the way I would do it or the way any other former president has done it. But uh, in the end, the, the Constitution, the rule of law govern in this country. That's our bedrock principle. Uh, we can't deviate from that. And, um, and I would expect that uh, if he is successful, um, he will govern accordingly. And there are certainly a lot of us out there that will be working with him to, to ensure that um, we're doing the, the right things for the, the, the good of the country and, and doing them in the right way.